I'm Abdullah Muhammad Musa, a follower of Sheikh Ibrahim Zegzeki, the detained leader of the Islamic movement, who has been under illegal detention for 2,000 days. Now, today mark the 2,000 days of illegal uh, detention. Uh, this is uh, a person, him and his wife, a couple that Nigerian uh, army, under the order of the president of Nigeria, went to his residence and killed more than a thousand of his followers, set the house ablaze. At the end of the the, the 24 hours uh, operation, they met him inside a room. They killed almost everybody at the, uh, the residence. They met him inside a room with his family. They killed three of his sons before him. They shoot his wife all over her body, shoot him all over his body also, including one of his eyes. And he fell down bleeding. They dragged his bleeding body on top of the corpses of his killed children and brought him to Abuja from Abuja. They keep him with uh, DSS in their custody, and the, the sheikh now went to court. The court on the 2nd of December 2016, uh, under the Justice Gabriel Kolawale, ordered the federal government to free the sheikh unconditionally and pay him a sum of 50 million naira for violating his fundamental right of living, and also build a house for him or in any place of his own choice in Nigeria. The government refused. At the end of the, the from Abuja, they now move him to Kaduna and keep him in dilapidated prison. Despite this sh a gunshot in his body, they poison him within the, 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 the facility of the DSS. They poison him using apple and other things. They poison him. He couldn't die. They now move him to prison without medication. For these 2,000 days, the Sheikh is in Kaduna prison, unhealthy prison without proper medication. That is why we are on the street today, calling on the government to obey the court that order for the freedom of the Sheikh and prosecute the perpetrators of killing innocent citizens of Nigeria. And we started a daily protest in Abuja on the 8th of August, uh, January 2018. They have been killing from that day to date. They have killed 78 followers of the Sheikh. Their only offense was coming to the street to call on the government to obey the court that order for the freedom of their leader unconditionally. Okay, they have given us some, but some are still with them since July, the, the police. Since July 2nd, uh, 22nd, July 2019, they attack us at Federal Secretary where they killed 14 uh, protesters, one police officer and one journalist from uh, uh, Channel Television. They went away with, with some people, that victims, that they went and snatched them from teaching hospital in Guagula, that they keep them in SARS. These guys were receiving treatment in hospital and the police went and should go on air. Everybody dispersed. They now took them and keep them in SARS without any treatment and they died on the, in SARS and they keep their body till today. They, re, they refused to release the body to the family members. The family members went to court, court order for the, for the police to handle the, the corpses of their siblings to them. They refused till today. They didn't obey the court order. Can you confirm how many bodies was returned uh, Every day, anytime they attack us, we were able to take some. Some, the police will take them. So they have like six bodies with them now. And of recent, on the, on the 27th, on 7th of May 2021, they also arrest uh, Yehuza Haruna. Till today, he swear about it's no, nowhere to be found. The police are still denying. They arrested 63 people, including Yehuza Haruna. Yehuza Haruna, they beat, they beat him until he fell down and they, they took him away, wished him away in one of their vans. Till today, we don't know the whereabouts of Yehuza Haruna. Others have been released and Yehuza Haruna is still with them. Come out with their, their in uniform, they shoot people. People die and they took them in police van, written police operation. Operation. So it's clear we have a, a lot of video evidences and pictures. The government has been given reasons from one funny, funny reason, insulting itself. itself. The first reason the president himself gave that the reason for the attack was that some people uh, will, uh, block the road of the, the, uh, of, of the chief of army staff, that he saw some excited teenagers hitting the chest of general until today the president cannot provide any video seeing youth hitting the chest of general Tukuru Yusuf Burati. Secondly, he says that the sheikh, the, the movement has created a state within a state. That is why they attack the sheikh and kill more than a thousand of his followers, set people ablaze, put them in mass barrier, shoot the sheikh and keep him without medication. This is some of the reason. Secondly, now in court, they now tell the court that the sheikh is in protective custody, that he has committed no offense, according to the lawyer. 
of the government. That the Sheikh has committed no offense, they are just keeping him in protective custody because the masses doesn't want him to exist in some of the places in, in the country. So from one funny reason to another, you can see what they are doing. They, but what we come to conclude and what we see from reasonable uh, thought is that the government wants Sheikh Zazeki dead. That is why they attack him. They went to his residence to kill him, they fell. They keep him in DSS custody and poison him to die, he fell. They're not keeping him in prison, keeping him in prison without medication, with more than 55 fragments of bullet poisonous in his body. Okay, I can remember, um... uh, you, we, we protested for for three good years on a daily basis. And we protested for two years, on maybe two, two weeks or three times in a month. But since January 2018, we staged daily protests in Abuja till date. And from that January 2018 to date, they have killed 78 people. One person is missing. Let's give it attention. 2,000 days. 2,000 days. It's injustice. It's injustice. Yes, it's injustice.